Hello, welcome to Dixie's Notebooks. I am your host, and today I am going to show you, I'm going to make a belly band. It's going to be a little bit different. Um, I have one here that's started, so you can kind of see what I'm doing. It is, um, it's actually I'm weaving right onto a piece of, pe piece of cardstock here. Um, you can see here, you can, oops, let me see all right. Yeah, see in there, just slip the papers right in there, just like so. And you got yourself a nice little belly band. It's a little fluffy belly band. Um, figure to give some more uh, ta tactical, ta not tactical, ta touchy, more touchy stuff. It's more touchy stuff in your journal. That's all I'm going to say about it. There's more touchy stuff in your journal. And um, I don't know, it looks kind of pretty. And it helps me get rid of my yarn because I really got to get rid of some of my yarn. So, yay. This one, um, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this one a little bit different than I did this one. Um, this one I'm trying out for the first time, so this may be a complete bust. If it is, you're gonna be right here with me. Um, this one, I actually just kind of, I cut each one of these. You see where each thread is? I cut a little snippet. I just went right through, and um, then I wrapped the yarn around it. I then um, took the washi tape, glued it, and then I taped it down. Um, just to kind of reinforce it a little bit. I'm not really fond of the washi tape on there. I don't know. I have to work on that. And then I gotta figure out what to do with the back stuff. But that's for another journal and another time. We're gonna do this one. So I've already marked off some spots. I'm just gonna cut a hole. It has to be big enough for this to get through so I can, oh. Alrighty, we got problems. That's all right. We'll work around this. All right. Should have probably checked that first. Oh boy. Yeah, this would be my luck. All right. It doesn't matter. I'll get this to work. We don't need this for right here. So, all right. Let's poke some more holes here. So I'm just really eyeballing it, which is probably not the best way to do it, but it's just the way I want to do it. Um, there we go. One. There we go. Two. And there we go. Three. Yep. Not totally perfect, but that's okay. One. Two. What you can do on this one is if you wanted to, you could do the belly band on the front and the back, or you could just do the belly band on one side. I think I'm just going to do the belly band on one side. Reason being, um, it'll just make my life easier, and uh, I don't really want the belly band on both sides. I'm going to put something else on the other side of this paper. So what I've used is I've used watercolor paper. This is, um, I believe, I took is this two. This is two card pieces of like cardstock, like actual like to make cards, greeting cards with, and I glued them together. Um, I have a ton of shiny glue card, uh, shiny cards, so I glued the shiny pieces together, and then that's where I came up with this. So they are a little thicker. I would go with something a little thicker, just to keep the paper from nipping. Um, also, uh, if you're doing this, you might want to put a little bit of washi tape there over top of it, just to kind of um, strengthen up the holes in the paper there. Yes. I need to strengthen up the holes. All right. Ah, this might work. If I can thread. All right. So we're gonna use. I'm gonna use a really. We're gonna use this color to go through. So give me a minute while I thread the needle. Sorry, it's gonna take me a minute. I'll probably just forward through all this stuff. So you guys don't have to watch this. Of 
There we go. Oh yeah, now we're cooking with oil. I don't know how much I'm gonna need. I can measure it out. Okay, so um, you wanna measure it out, so it'd be like one, All right. Okay, that's gonna be plenty. Okay. That was getting to be a lot more challenging than I thought it would be. Okay, let's start. All right. This is part is easy. We're just gonna, um, we're gonna set up the quote loom. Um, we're gonna go in here. No, we're not gonna do it that way. Go up here. This is what we're going to do. We're going to go up here, in here. We're just going to go around the back. I'm going to leave some back here. I'm gonna go up here. Sorry, I hope I'm doing this all on the video. Now we're gonna go, oops, up this one. Down here. Okay, so we have plenty of yarn. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna flip this over. I'm gonna do just to kind of make sure it all stays really tight. Probably should have done this right before, but I didn't. So what I'm doing, I'm just pulling them through and I'm gonna tie like a, mm, sort of like a pamphlet stitch. Not really, but sort of in my head, it's like a pamphlet stitch. I'll see in a minute. So you want to pull it tight, but you don't want to pull it too tight because you don't want to rip the paper because that can happen. We'll do a quick little knot. Okay. I'll do. I'll do like a, I don't know if this is a square knot or a surgeon's knot, but they seem to work really well. So when you're working with yarn, sometimes it's slippery and slick, like uh, this is a really slippery, a slick yarn. Um, sometimes when you, um, when you make the knot, it will uh, start to um, undo. If you're having that problem with the yarn, um, just kind of like tighten it really well and then rub it with your finger. It's gonna break up some of the yarn pieces. They're gonna kind of snarl together and then you're gonna have, uh, yeah, you'll have it done. So see, there we go. Uh, and I should have erased everything first. Oi. Okay. All right, so to recap, because I'm not sure if I'm talking straight right now. It's been a long day, long day at work. So you're gonna use a, a thicker piece of, of, of cardstock or um, paper. Watercolor paper is what I'm using right here. This is two pieces of card stock material. You're gonna weave, um, you're gonna thread up your quote loom. This is where we're gonna weave. Um, I'm going to use a bigger needle to weave because I can. Um, I'm probably going to save these little ta uh, these little tangles, these little pieces over on this side. Probably not that much though. Because um, I'm probably going to do something with them on this side of the paper. Like, I don't know, maybe glue a little button over that so you don't see a big old knot there. And then maybe, I don't know, put some beads on there or something. We'll figure it out later or some other day, whatever. Anyways, so 
fairly quick and easy. This should be, this shouldn't be that long. Um, and I will show you how to do a few things on it. So let's get started. We'll start off with this beefy yarn here. Just gonna I actually believe this is a yarn needle. I believe. I got it in one of my, my one of my many trips to I think Joanne Fabrics. What we'll do is we'll just um we'll just pull off a good chunk of it. That looks good. And then you're just going to start. Sorry, I'm fighting with everything today. And you're just going to start. And what we may want to do is... So we're going to take this piece and we're going to... Um, I'm going to do a little knot on it just to keep it in place. I know this is, this part's going to probably get a little boring. Um, I may speed up parts of this, um, add a little bit of relaxing music if you want to watch it. Um, but let me get started. Let me at least do a few rows. Um, kinda. Oh yes, it's been a day. I'll also show you how to make the little, um, how to make these things. There's a couple ways to do it. I'll show you the one that seems to work the best. Um, and I'll show you what kind of yarn I use for this one in particular. This is actually a fun fur. That's what they call it. I'm sure they still make it somewhere. I'm sure you can still buy it. Um, they also call it eyelash. I think some of them are called eyelash yarn. Um, they're just kind of fun little yarns you can buy. They usually come in small skeins. Um, they're more string than they are really yarn. Um, but okay. So and then you're just gonna repeat that, but you're gonna go opposite. You just keep pulling it through. You don't want to pull too hard because if you pull too hard, it's going to bow. So you're going to want to do it. Oh, that's going to drive me nuts. So you don't want to pull too too hard. So you're not you know you're not yanking it. You're it's going to be a looser weave. It's not going to be like totally tight and because you really don't want to. Let's do this. Let's make it a lot quicker. Sorry. So my suggestion is if you use pencil or any pencil marks to get rid of those first before you thread it up. I totally forgot because I just forgot. And see, so if I pull it too hard, see how it does that? So I just want to make sure it's loosey-goosey. Um, you can do a few rows before you make it all kind of um, erase your markings. Um, before you uh, push it all the way down, um, or you can do a row and push it down. Either way, sorry, I'm getting rid of all the eraser stuff. Okay. So yeah, this actually will go pretty fast. It's going to go faster than that one because that one's like a monster of one, but... I just thought this would be kind of fun to do. Um, you know, if you get some really soft yarn, like baby yarn, it'll it'll feel nice and soft. It'll be like just, I don't know, something different in your junk journals. Yeah, my husband threatened to throw away my yarn until it start, didn't start getting to 
getting to be used getting to be used oh my gosh what kind of english is that i'm not even sure that's not english is it Ugh. so i was like hmm, maybe i should figure out some different uses so i started thinking like i just kind of was like hmm, how can i use it how can i use it and then this is what i came up with so i might just do the whole thing in this that's really pretty i don't know what do you think You don't have to use like a needle like this. You can use your fingers. Um, I have fat fingers. I tried to do the crazy craft challenge where you paint with your fingers and that was a nightmare and a half. So um, yeah, I didn't, uh, I did not publish that video because uh, it was awful. I tried to do a volcano. Yeah, I tried to do a volcano keyword. That came out, that was just, that was wrong. Um, Try to do flowers. That didn't work either. It just my my fingers are too fat, and I had um yeah they're just too fat. They don't they don't they don't do that stuff. Oh my goodness! And they're it's picking it up. Oh, it's in my lap. That's why. Oh, sorry. Okay, it keeps picking it up because it's in my lap, and that's where the thread is landing is in my lap. So, oi. Go, do, do, do. And as you can see, it's like it's fairly easy, fairly repetitive, uh, fairly um part where I'm going to tie some knots in here. Decide on the gray. I don't know why I just did. Um, there are two ways to do it. You can do a slip knot over the, um, the string like this. And then you just do like this. Um, my suggestion though is because you're going to cut these, well, you can keep them long if you want. So it all depends. But as you can see, like, so I could pull this really tight. But as you can see, it's starting to it's already starting to come up a little bit, um, and there is the possibility that this could un be undone. So um, in this one, um, I tied the knot, and the reason why I had to, I had the news on, so um, I forgot I had it on, and I was watching someone talk about some news stuff, and I was like, oh, that's interesting, and I'm like, oh, I'm in the middle of doing a video, I need to turn that off, so. Um, so you just tie a regular like square knot or surgeon's knot and that's what I've been doing and they seem to be fine um, and you want to tie those really tight even these see as you can see they kind of have the rub it a little bit you just got to rub it in 
that sounds so awful. Oh my goodness. Um, but just, just if you rub it a little bit, it'll start to make the threads wear a little bit and they will do what they're supposed to do there. We got this one right here. And notice I didn't I didn't do anything with this thread, I just kept it. So you could just kind of keep it, it doesn't matter. Halfway, I can't tell, like, I can't tell half, half ways or whatever. I thought I'd do four of these, apparently I didn't. Oy, I'm losing stuff now. And when you're done with the whole project, you can cut it, or if they start getting in your way, you could cut it um, before you're done with the project. Doesn't matter either way, or you can leave them long. i probably cut mine short. Um, So you just kind of, and you just push them down. And then you're going to have uh, four little knots there. And then you just pick up right where you were, and you continue going. So I may do another one or two of these. I'm going to have to cut these sooner rather than later, because they're going to get in my way. All right. And here we go back again. Background. Oh my gosh, I have an Eminem song in my head now. Round the outside. <laughs> no. Okay. You know what? And we'll do another row. Actually, you know what? I'll go a couple more rows and then do another row. And it's really not a big deal if you have to add no if you have to add more string to this. It really isn't that big of a deal, so. Yep, that's going to drive me nuts, so we're going to cut these all down. I just want them down to like a better length so they're not just... And see, once you cut, cut them, they kind of stick up a little bit, so then it makes it a little more fun. Okay, remember not to pull too hard. And then you go. And again, I'm going to pause it until I get to the next knotting one so I can do it again in case it wasn't clear the first time. Um, and then show you what we could do at the end and then I'll decorate the back. I think I'm going to put, I don't know, figure out something. All right.
Okay, I'm going to do another row of the gray again. Um, I just like the way it looks. And then I think that's it until I finish. And I will just go through the end until I finish. And I'll do it on fast with some, some pretty music. I uh, have an art list. Um, when you call those things like art list channel, not art list channel, um, subscription. So I can, you know, put all sorts of calming, relaxing music, which is what I'm going to do in this video. I haven't done it yet, obviously, because I am still talking and still making it. Um, but by the time you see me saying this, there will be stuff in there. Yep. So again, just tie it, pull it through. And you can do a lot of different things by, by doing this. You know, you can do different colors. You can do different patterns, you know. Um, and, you know, weaving, you can do different patterns. You can have one or two different colored threads going at the same time. I haven't done that in this one, obviously. I'm just trying to keep it simple. But you can do a multicolored. Um, you know, you could do, like, uh, you know, a couple of, of rows of, of one color. Or, you know, you can even... Um, you can even like if you you can loop it around a couple times, you know, uh, with one color and then put the other color. Um, I'm not making any sense. Forget it. In my head, I can see it very clearly, but obviously, I can't articulate it into um, proper words. So maybe I will do another video where I show that what I'm talking about. But there's a lot of things you can do with this. I cut four, right? Why do I feel like I'm like losing my mind all the time? Oh, there they are. I have some other ideas of what to do with the yarn, with any yarn that you might have in your crafting wares. Um, I have a couple of other ideas that I will be making videos on. And they'll come up after this. Well, not right after this, because I have to make the videos, obviously. So, yeah, yeah. There we go. This isn't going to be even Steven, obviously, but you can get the idea. So, and you can move the knots right down the yarn too, which shouldn't be that hard. You should be able to just do it right down the yarn. Uh, you can see it. that one is actually starting to come up. What did I do with this one? What was I doing with this one? Uh, okay. You see how easily they can come right out too. Apparently I cut that one like way down. Apparently I felt like I really needed a haircut. What I probably should be doing is uh, putting a little bit of water on these knots. I'll probably make them stay better. Go. See, so you, you can see how easily it is. Oh, this one's doing it too. All right. Two longer pieces. You see how easily they come out? So, yeah, it's this one is a little more tougher because I did rub, I rubbed it, I rubbed it really well. work with me not against me work with me yeah so if you do rub them it actually did work because that was a little tougher to get out like this one looks like it's coming out again too I did these all kind of short huh 
Yeah, that's right, I did. Rub the yarn, like I said, it's going to break it apart, it's going to knot it up a little bit, it's going to make it a little harder for the knots to come out. Sounds like I'm doing something dirty to the yarn. I'm going to check to make sure I'm still recording. All right. There we go. I'm gonna speed it up again. completed this I am going to cut off these little just gonna cut them off really short they're fine they were actually I was having a hard time tying them so we're good and here we go here we go we have our belly band and see oh well, it's really not much of a contrast Do I have anything else that might be a good contrast he's not sure oh how about this Gotta be careful because it's got that's not big enough, but you can kind of see just so you can kind of see the. Oh, actually, it is big enough. There you go. See, it's got a nice little belly band there. Okay. All right. Now to decorate the back. Let's find some buttons. That one. It's more of a turquoisey. I think that blue would look good with it. it might glue it down right there. Maybe just I don't know. I'm almost wondering if I should like sew it on. No. Let's 
No. I think I like that blue one. I think that's... Oh, how about that one? Ooh, I like that one. I think that one's going to be the one that gets glued down. There we go. And I don't think I'm actually going to tie it. I think I'm just going to let these little ends fray. I think I'm going to leave them off. Because why not? And we're going to glue that down. Oh. Ooh, wait, hold on. It's a sunflower on the other side. If I could, I should be able to, right? If I put enough glue, if I put enough glue in there, it'll stick. It's. I hope this is a horg. Okay, well, let's just try it. So I wish I had like a glue gun because I think it would probably work a little bit better. Because I don't really have a glue gun. So let's try this out here. Let's see if we can get this to work. I like the little sunflower. It makes me happy. I love sunflowers. I love flowers in general. So yeah. Let's see, it looks like it's sealing. It doesn't look like it's really going through the other side, which is good. That's what we want. I'm gonna cut these down just a tiny bit, but I am gonna kind of leave them because why not? It's still dry. All right, so I am going to assume that that is going to finish. Okay, I put a lot in there, so it's gonna take a while to dry. But anyways, so this is the front. Here we go, we have our nice little belly band right here. And this is the back. So thank you for watching. I'm going to have a few more um, yarn inspired ideas for junk journals. Uh, so keep watching. Bye.